Come on in, Chuck. Come on in. Welcome to Orochi Tower, the heart and nerve center of the Orochi Group corporate family. Together, we form eight heads facing forward to an innovative horizon. We see limitations as a challenge and the impossible as a dare. We will push boundaries. We will pursue excellence. We will change the world. Orochi Group, we will. Please enjoy your visit and have a dynamic day. between you two is so... <laughs> oh, just drop the weapons and get to the apocalyptic Barney mugging already. Why don't we all kiss and make up? Hmm? There are no good demons. Not even dead demons. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks closed, huh? Maybe now's not the time to rumble, eh? Maybe we've got more pressing matters. I mean, are you two really going to force me to be the voice of reason? Me? Ducky, just for tonight, just for kicks, let's do what we do best. The skills we usually sharpen on each other's skulls. Let's use them on a common foe instead. Imagine, imagine the look on the evil eight-headed farmer's faces when he sees the doll, the cat, and the rat all coming down on him packing heat and purpose. <laughs> Priceless. We can get back to playing chin music on each other tomorrow. Promise. We'll stay down here, pinning down the Tin Men and Mooks. You're going up. Access to the highest levels is restricted to upper management. So you'll have to obtain access from the highbrows on the levels you can get into. Dig? Ha! You're the kitten's ankles! Let me put you wise. Be careful. The corporate world is weird. And these are weird days. Anyone crucified on that 9 to 5 cross might go a little... <laughs> You do not understand. Gaia is dying. It is our responsibility to find ways to replace her before it's too late. Lilith was trying to... are again. How are your legs? Have we come to that part already? I've done this dance so many times. The game board is wiped clean. The game board is reassembled. It all blurs. But before we dance this time, maybe I could impart some knowledge to you. I'm not going anywhere. I do apologize if I was a touch melodramatic last time. Bad day. When you cross from age to age, you tend to create new versions of yourself, and I have been so many me's. 
A scientist? A priestess? A ravening monster? Did I seem bad last time? I've been much worse. Oh, you should have seen me in the Second Age. You should have seen Samael in the beginning. So terrible. So beautiful. A passion that could extinguish civilizations. It frightened me. Thrilled me. I followed him into eternity on a promise. Where did it all go wrong? Somewhere in the millennia, I realized Samael had lost his rage. It was his fiery words that convinced me to turn against my own species. To tear reality down. All for him. And now he's grown comfortable in humanity's world? Betrayal by apathy. Complacency snuffed out his beauty. The promise withered on the vine. I hated him for that. He lost his conviction. But I, I didn't. I kept to the old plan. We were so close at the end of the Third Age. We found a Gaia engine. We had nearly unearthed it. We dug so very carefully. But the Dreaming One stirred to momentary wakefulness. And so very sleepily, it strangled the world. Years passed. A thousand? Time moves strangely when the ages flip. Again, I searched. Just a century ago, a Norwegian explorer found a city entombed in the ice of Antarctica. He vanished, and I spent the next ten decades following his trail. I used a woman, a simplistic fool, to urge Aveline Belmont into doing most of the chasing for me. And I found it. A Gaia engine, buried in the ice. I... Deal with this if you want to hear more from me. These creatures are just fragments of their dreams, you know. This is what they think birds look like. And now... They have a human mind in their collective. A new subconscious vocabulary to add to their parlance. What dreams may come. But we were talking about the Gaia engine. The Orochi group wanted the engine to create limitless energy. I wanted it to create the manacles that would chain the Dreaming Ones to my will. Do you honestly think, given the people you work for, that your arrogance is any less than mine? It's just played out on a much more limited scale. My plans frayed, then unraveled. The morning light slipped my control. Philip Markard tried to kill me! Me! Bad little cultists. <laughs> they must be punished. Abandoned by Samael, and bereft of the sun cult I'd taken such care in growing, I retreated to the tower. I've expanded my research. I could cleanse the filth from Tokyo. But to do that... I would need a working Gaia engine. And to activate an engine, I would need Emma. I wasn't lying to you when I said I needed Emma. Oh, but you denied me Emma. 
You denied Kaiden respite from its nightmare. It would all be over now. But you had the arrogance to interfere in events greater than yourself, you presumptuous! I am the pirate signal. Let me in. I am the word virus. Let me in. I am the earworm. Let me in. I am the brain pathogen grammar. I am the dreamer's dream. I am what I am. Let me in. 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 <laughs> I created a monster. Not for the first time. I handed Markard the morning light on a platter. But he adjusted the doctrine ever so slightly. By subtle degrees, the morning light turned on me. I wanted to control the dreaming ones. He wants to unleash them all. He's communed with them. He wants to become like them. Right now, he is the most... Can't stop it, Lilith. You drink from a broken cup. Everything but everything wakes up. John! Sweet John! I thought you were afraid of me. Oh, I am. I am. I am. But Chuck gave me courage. I gave the blackness a brain. Now all we need is your heart. I vaguely remember you, John. The shy pervert. Search the shallow dung heap that is your soul and tell me truly if you think you can beat me. I... can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. But I don't have to beat you. I just have to distract you until they come. What? No! Not now! Be not afraid, Lilith. We are past the agency of screams. No! <laughs> Lilith, screech out. I bind you. By your seventeen names, I bind you. By your hidden eighteenth name, I bind you. Kisikililaki, I bind you. That Samael should couple with a talking ape. You. I smell the dreaming ones upon you. They offered you gifts. I smell your choices. Reap what you have sown. Reap what you have sown. Reap what you have sown. Remember this. Be mindful of the voices. They will whisper in your sleep. Make the right choices. And be mindful of the voices. They corrupt. Oh, thought you were pushing up daisies for keeps. We... Say, you seem different. This one look different to you, Golson? Come on. You of all people know a little something about this. <laughs> In beta? <laughs> Bunch of sour pussies. Fine. We're all arch enemies again. <laughs> 